Brian, I've read about Live View. Could you tell me how it works? So the way that it works is quite straightforward. From the camera itself, as you know, there's a mirror inside. So let me just show you that. So within the camera, normally there's a mirror that points up to the pentaprism. When we operate Live View, we pip, pop the mirror up and expose the sensor. So it's just a bit like this. So now you can see that the sensor's exposed, the mirror's up, and what we have on the back of the camera is a live view of actually what you're seeing. So as I move my hands, okay. you exactly see it as there. And that's so we've got a live preview of exactly what's being seen through the lens. Exactly. And are there any, any sort of downsides to that from the photo photographic point of view? Um, from a photographic point of view, there's no real downsides. It does heat the body up a little bit, but the reality is, is that live view mode will cut the, the um, cut itself out when the internal camera temperature reaches 45 Celsius. Right. And what about autofocus? Have we still got autofocus? So because the mirror is part of the autofocus system in terms of the optical path, then actually you lose autofocus when you pop, use the live view. You can still manual focus, and if you actually connect the camera to the co uh, computer with the software, you can actually drive the AF on the lens from the buttons on the computer. So a very, very much an ideal product for studio location, uh, studio work then? I think not only studio, it's also perhaps interesting for some pre members of the press where the ability to hold the camera above your head and still see from the, on the viewfinder what the camera's seeing gives them that extra ability that maybe they had in the old days when they could take the pentaprisms off. And so this may be good for wildlife as well then? I think the applications will actually extend as once people get familiar with the camera and see what this gives them, they will find additional uses for it. So we might have some ideas right now, but this will ultimately be driven by the photographers. Does the video feed just go onto the laptop? I can only see it on my laptop, or is there any other way I can use that video? So you can connect the camera through its video output actually straight into a regular TV monitor or even a projector. So if you're shooting in a studio and your models want to see what's happening live, you can put a big plasma on the wall or something like that, and they can see a feed straight away. So here we'll just show the um, live view, and we enable the live view mode, and we can actually move using the um, joystick button. We can move the actual fr the frame around, and that's useful for when we zoom in. So we can zoom in in various steps. So there's a five times, and there's also a ten times magnification, which gives you quite a good view for actually achieving accurate focus even using the live view when you're obviously manual focusing. Additionally, in live view, we can have extra information. So we can have shooting information, we can have uh, picture style information, all displayed there within the live view modes. Also with the live view mode, we have the ability to add in grid lines to help you line up the subject and they match the typical rule of thirds sections. Plus you can actually see here the blue lines show us where we've actually added aspect ratio information. So the camera has the ability that when it takes pictures, it can add a predefined crop to an image. So here we've got it set up for a square, so a 6x6 crop. There's a number of different settings, including 4x5, 3x4, 6x7 crops. So actually on the um, live view, we have the ability to superimpose a grid, which gives you e makes it easier to line up the camera. And as we've shown here, you can even add um, cropping information. By cropping information, do you mean you're actually cropping the captured image? Now what we do is we add uh, information into the header of the image such that the Canon software recognizes this was taken with, say, a 6x6 or a square crop. And when you process the raw file, if you make no change, you'll get a square file out. But actually the full resolution of the, device, of the camera is captured. So if I make a mistake on capture, the whole image information is actually there and I'm able to recrop in the software in post? Basically, the raw file is the same as it would have been if you had no cropping information. Um, it's just pre-cropped. We think this will be quite useful for people used to shooting square formats, 6x7, 4x5, to provide them with images that fit the regular print sizes directly.